everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so we will be continuing with our binary search playlist which is the part of the strike verse a to z dsa course in case you haven't checked it out yet there's a link in the description make sure you check it out because in case you haven't you're missing out on a lot of things so in this video i will be solving the problem find out how many times has the array been rotated so you'll be given an array which will have unique numbers again very important it will have unique numbers so this is the array you have to find me out how many times it has been rotated like ideally the sorted array should have been this but if you carefully see it is something like this and then this so it has been rotated from 3 4 5 and then 1 2 so how many times it has been rotated three times i can say three times thereby the answer is three stating that it has been rotated three times so how can you find uh, how many times it has been rotated if you remember the last problem we did was finding the minimum in rotated sorted array do you remember in case you haven't seen out this video there's a link in the description please make sure you check it out because whatever logic we have used in order to find the minimum because even in this particular array if i ask you find the minimum you know the minimum is this and the index at which the minimum appears is 3 and that is eventually the answer so if i know how to find out the minimum if i know how to find out the minimum if i can keep a track of the index while finding out the minimum that index will be the number of times the array has been rotated for an example if i take 1 2 4 5 7 take this array where is the minimum the minimum is here which is at the zeroth index and i can say that the array has been rotated zero times hence if you can solve this problem you can also solve this problem you just have to do minor changes so let's quickly go back to the code editor again you can try out the problem from the link in the description we have to write the code but we know that if we can pick up the code from find the minimum that will solve it we just need to introduce the index concept maybe i'll just have an index variable and let's analyze where is the answer because answer is the minimum where is it updated once here once here and the other time here so there are three times when the answer is updated can i write this as if array of flow is lesser than answer answer equal to array of flow i can undoubtedly i can and then i can remove this thing because it does mean the same i'm not using the function i'm writing the manual thing it does mean the same and i can again omit this over here and instead of array of mid i can sorry array of flow i can do array of mid and i'll omit this this is also going to give me the minimum stored in answer i need to find the index so if the answer is updated over here can i also update the index stating then you got the index at low you got the minimum index like minimum value at the low index over here you can say you get got it at mid so eventually with the answer which was the minimum i also update the index and going ahead i can return the index as well so i'll quickly go ahead and submit this and see if it is running fine it is so a slight change in the previous code makes this problem work so i hope you have understood this one for unique you know how to do it for duplicates because we have already solved a problem which was search in rotated sorted array part 2 over there i've already told you how to solve problems for duplicates in a rotated sorted array so you can also extend this problem for duplicates in interviews they might give you an extension asking you for duplicates don't worry just apply whatever logic you have applied in the part 2 and apply it here it will be running fine that is why i'm telling you follow the playlist sequentially because otherwise you'll be missing out on a lot of things so i hope you have understood everything just in case you have please consider giving us that small like and if you're new to our channel do consider subscribing to us because these things do motivate me to make these kind of content more and more and yes if you haven't followed me on instagram twitter and linkedin you can find the profile links in the description with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye take care